Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick little video this morning. Um, I get this question all the time and I just got it from uh, somebody else this morning. So I thought uh, I would do a video to answer his question and post it on the channel for everybody else. So if you've watched our videos, you know that we, uh, we use the same size wheels and tires on most 98% of our Hummers, unless they're lifted or uh, something else. But uh, so, um, so we always use the 22 by 12 inch wheels with a negative 44 offset. This one being a concave face. Uh, sometimes they have more of a deep lip uh, wheel like, like this one here. But, uh, so that has the lip, um, this one has the concave style, and so does that one. Uh, so, but the same, they're the same size wheels, 22 by 12 with a negative 44 offset. The negative 44 offset, as you know, just means that the, where the wheel in the center, where it attaches, uh, is deeper and it causes the wheel to be further, to stick out and give it a wider stance. Now, the size of the wheel itself really isn't affected by that. You can get this, this size without any offset or with negative 12 offset uh, to where it wouldn't stick out. But we like that style, as you know, uh, and think it looks great and it's an updated style. The size of the tire is a 325 50R22. Now, uh, you can get the, uh, the conventional measurements and, and, and get a like a 35 by 12 and a half, but this is really, in a metric size, this is uh, almost 14 inches wide. So if I put my tape measure out, the outside or inside edge, which is right there, just a little bit further out this way. And then if we were to look down there, it's almost 14 inches, edge to edge. Now the tread pattern here, from the edge of the tread pattern to the edge of the tread pattern, that you know, it's gonna be about 12 inches that are, it's actually touching the road. But, uh, you know, it has about an inch on each side. So anyway, so we've got a 14 inch wide tire on a 12 inch wide wheel. So that does a couple of things, which is, great because it protects the wheel if you hit a curb or anything like that you're not going to scrape up the wheel it also makes sure that it is wide enough and, and it looks good okay because they're they're at, they're really really wide now the question and this brings me back to the point of the video is how do these not rub uh when you turn because of the width of the of the tires um and they will rub most of the time and where they rub is going to be this inner fender liner this plastic liner that that is on all all of them so here's one right here this one's dirty water just coming on it. um so this is one that hasn't been touched what we do what we will be doing to this one is we put uh, a metal screw right here and it pushes this back about a half inch because where they usually rub is when this tire gets turned, it'll it'll start to rub right, right there, okay? So this one we've already done and let me show you. So see this metal screw right here? So that's been uh, screwed in and it pushes this liner back about a half inch. So it gets it out of the way. So when the wheel turns, it has clearance. So it doesn't rub. Okay. So um, that's how that's how that works. I should probably get the keys and show you, but I'm just trying to give you an idea uh, of how that works and how I'll show you on this side. There's that, that metal screw right there. So it just, it just brings this inner fender liner, it just pushes it back a little bit to give it clearance. The other question that's related to this is, 
does it require a leveling kit? It does not. So most of ours do not have a leveling kit. Um, I can tell by looking. So this, this orange one, this is the one with the uh, slant back cover with 28,000 miles on it. So this one does have a leveling kit. When we put a leveling kit on there, we really just do it for a look and we do it on maybe 20% of our H2s. 100% of them get this size wheels and tires, but only 20% of them get the leveling kit. Um, and the leveling kit, so like in this case, it, 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 it will raise them. It's a two inch leveling kit, but that really translates to about an inch and a half of actual uh, measurement. So let me show you here. So this one, from the top of the tire to uh, to the uh, fender flare is a little over nine inches. So this one does not have a leveling kit. This one's about uh, a little over eight inches. Same with this one. I know this red one has a leveling kit. This is the 07, 36,000 miles, nine and a half inches. So that's what it, uh, yeah, the leveling kit, it does increase the clearance for uh, tires, but Primarily, it's just to give it a little bit more of a muscular, aggressive stance. So it raises that front end a little bit. So hopefully I haven't confused you anymore, but that the key to those to these, these size of wheels and tires not rubbing is just to get that fender liner a little bit further back to give it a little clearance there. There's never any issue here on the front um, with any rubbing there. I've seen people that will cut that inner fender liner out of the way. That's not necessary. Uh, it, uh, generally speaking, you just have to push it back out of the way and use a metal screw for that. Okay, that's it guys. If you have any more questions, let me know. Um, hopefully be posting some more walk around videos here soon. But until then, from Dallas, Texas on a beautiful sunny January day, uh, we'll say goodbye. Till next time.